to the after second time. Yes, when we talk about two vehicles that we can have talked about and not the recording to meet our major. We're actually going to do this one a little bit, a little bit differently. I will encourage you to look at the next video you see in this one if you're watching that video. If you're watching it on Twitch, you can looking at them one by one. I will also upload them to YouTube and then click to YouTube. Probably that's not a real video. Looking at everything that's like annotations in between one as a comment to both of them. I'm just going to talk about some parts of this tank and the mouse, the mask on the mouse. Well, it's like I'm going to right now. But the mouse, I'll get the extra later. The mouse is basically the bunker. Yes. That is true. What people are saying it is basically the bunker. That is true. Look at its armor. Quick. Armor. Thick welds. It's everything. It's a German squad. My idea is that was not D2 was knocked out for the weekly model. We really can too. Chat a turret. My idea. I had possibilities for it. Going to be to most likely. British attack there. We'll spot our stability for the very chance of the unit with an acting out with that bomb if we come with our events to the turret. And we'll see you. And then it will show you British guns that have probably been used. Tog 2 is more and more likely. As there is a handgun that has still been used at the time. Because that can over the penetration. Then is that's the actual thickness of the plate when at a vertical slope. Thus, it's at a very good level plate slope. So if you look the slope, sign the slope, multiply by that armor. That replaced by that armor. These two. Plates are effectively 185, and the rear plate is not 160. The rear turret is based effectively almost 110, it is nearly 210, very small slope. Sides are signed, and it's signed, and then the front of the sign of the turret is signed of whatever the degree of the picture we have. Signs. What times are the armor thicknesses? And if you're right shooting right in that way, you have whatever the mantlet thickness is, or you're shooting. And that can suck. And the actual effective thickness of that as well. Plus, more pain. Shooting that. Probably not the British. Which is definitely not the British because I never ran into it. Americans are possibilities. Some people might look into. Then is a this is deployed in the wrong area, and once again you have 90 millimeters. So that gets an American tech tree and the 90 millimeters. Persian and Persian is the most likely. Yeah. Right. Thank you. And before you. Like, yes, they could, they could have done it. They could have done it. No. Once again, simple math, simply, that's HVAP. HVAP is not given to tank companies first, tank divisions first. They're given to tank shortages. 40. 3. Oh, look, they have more penetration on the armor. Goodness. Downfall. Jackson's a pin of armor. Best possibility. Foul cap. 
oh look, here's a problem. Not mount actually in real life, we never mounted the mount. Oh, it was another test bed for the 90 millimeter gun test. The NBC is 4 90 millimeter guns, not so it makes it high. But it's used as an axis of 12 artillery piece, or SBA or SBG. Thus, it cannot be punctured as a tank destroyer. None of these vehicles could have punctured it. As once again, we're going back to simple calculations of sign of the slope, sign of the armor thickness, sign of the slope, sign of the armor thickness, sign of the slope here, sign of the armor thickness, sign of whatever you're shooting at on this, sign of the armor thickness, plus sign of whatever part of the mat you're shooting at, sign of the armor thickness. So you could have potentially two effective thicknesses. Ouch. Then again, to the Russians. In World War II, the Russians are the next possibility. Yes, they did run into it. Yes, they came close to it. But no, they never ran into it. IS-9S3 was the only model. Tanks they had the control out of the tank destroyers. Things they were mounting this with the 25T, 25T. Look at the problem. 217. Can't puncture any portion of the mouse other than the side. Now you come over to the under mountain SU 100. Oh, look, more penetration. 35. Maybe it could have. Only the sides once again. With a turret. And now, to view. Most people take it as, take that. Oh, yes! They could have done it! They could have done it! No! Once again, simple calculations. Science, it's going to be the effect of armor thickness and the problem. That is point blank range penetration. Not at range is long enough to actually find of any threats to the mouse. The mouse would have taken out an SU 152 or one SU 100 at point blank range. Quite nicely. Thus, they did not do it. So here we go. They use the signal to have done. Bridge. It comes across the bridge. Bridge collapses basically. There's 190 tons basically. Now, it's better for the walking trigger. And I don't have even 100 down there. So let's go to the tech tree. One hundred. How much better? But it is better. One twenty-nine or one thirty, basically. About one thirty tons. Bridges could potentially carry whole oh, hell of it. We're talking a train bridge. Most bridges use different sort of trucks. Could have been much lighter, but that not much more. But a few tanks. This is the heaviest tank ever made. It is unusually large. Thus, my rant with this one is over. Let's go over to IS-4. And it's spring-loaded defenders. A much smaller vehicle. That was big. It's actually bigger. That was big as this one. All that is straight, so it's not much. Comparison. That I have four spring loaded fenders. Which the chief has commented they did multiple tanks did use it and there were multiple uses for these. It was most things to add them only had a single spring. This is a dual spring. Problem. So I could have always worked in the military service in World War II. 
first. German technology, German technology isn't all that great. The channels is the Chipotle Bay channels who stole these two leader bands from German vehicles. IS is actually a much better team than German vehicles. Tiger, for example. You don't see those radiator fans. They thought we are in Tiger 2. Which I don't have down there. But if you look at it, it was now it good compared to IS. Or, but, it is now, this one is mounting the gun, and they can prevent the function. Oh look, 240, 240, 290 is their damage. 203, 37, 34. Would have stopped the gun hit the ground stage and caught Lincoln about. Train stop. They can now stop watching it. And then they put the guns. There was no longer of use. And thus, you are one to actually you have a gun to the mountain. The gun you're using is useless against good art and good tanks. Thus, after World War II, they made the this gun, far better version of the A19, which I think was a new gun. And I don't see model anymore. And they were testing a new gun called the BMI. The only one is found to be sufficient against the new American British tanks. Plus, it never saw service. So, without that, we're going to get into the bumper. Let me show you some pictures of.